to American Eagle to see if I could find a pair of jeans and it's literally throwing me back to the 90s because, well not 90s because obviously like I was born in 92 so I barely lived through that era but I feel like this is throwing me back to high school when, or like middle school because everything is like that style again. Um, I'm going to try on these mom straight jeans which I really like. Um, I feel like my mom was always grabbing jeans like this that were kind of big and like baggy um, from like the good and stuff and now it's like back in style which I love. So I'm going to try these on and then there's a little um, corduroy button up up front that I'm going to try on. Let me show it to you guys real quick. The button up is up here and it's so cute. I think I'm going to try it on. I'm going to see if they have a bigger size. Um, I'll probably get like an XL or maybe like an XXL but this should just be so cute with maybe like um I don't know just like a little crop underneath it so I'm gonna see the largest size and then try that on don't forget about looking in the men's section I always do this because I feel like I always like the men's plaid a lot better than the women's plaid this is stuff I'm taking with me by the way to try on um but I feel like the women's plaid just has like a different feel to it um I don't just I just don't really care for the women's plaid as much but the men's plaid I feel like it's a little bit more like structured I don't know what it is but I like it a lot better I definitely tried this on the last time I was in here um this color but I did didn't try on this brown color. I'm gonna try this on, I think, because I think that this would be really cute. I also loved how soft it was, and I kind of regretted leaving it. So I'm gonna see if I like the brown just as much as the other one, if they have my size. I like to get it in like a really big size, and it looks like they almost, yeah, they just have like mediums and smalls. I like to get it in like a XXL, so I'm gonna see if they have um, a bigger size over on the other side. Okay, tell you, tell me that this does not throw you back to like freaking high school or middle school. Like these skirts are back, it's so funny. They're so cute, but I just don't know if I could do the low rise. I just, I don't know if I'm about it, but they're still really cute. These shoes are really nice and soft. I love um, any shoe like this because I feel like they match pretty much every outfit that I wear just so cute for fall they're a nice little slide I'm not a huge fan of anything with like words on it but I do love how they paired this right here with like the plaid I think that this is a really cute idea for wearing my cruise I grabbed three uh, things but I want to show you guys what I'm wearing right now before I try it on I grabbed a um, little sweater the brown one i tried the beige one or yeah the beige beige one on the last time that i was here and i really liked it but i feel like i have too many beige sweaters so i'm gonna try on this brown one and then i have a pair of white jeans because i only have one pair and i wear them a lot and then i also grabbed this little corduroy button up i have a little like crop top that i'm wearing underneath here um it's like a little bralette so i'll probably wear that with it um but what i'm wearing right now i got this um sweater from a cute little store it's called uh, shop Kells bells in Virginia but they actually sell this on gray bandit so I'll link that below because she doesn't have like a website and then I'm also wearing um, this skirt that's from Abercrombie I really like it because it's high-waisted but it's actually a skirt so they're shorts this is from Fuchsia Shaw and then I'm wearing my little uh, Ugg minis and this is the full fit so I'm gonna try these three things on and I'll let you guys know what I think. I'm hoping I can bring it all home because I feel like I need more fall pieces. And I don't know, the store just haven't been giving me what I wanted. So I'm hoping that I can find something really nice in here. This is the first sweater and I love how soft it is. Like it's not um, uncomfortable or like itchy at all. Sometimes turtlenecks feel like really uncomfortable around your neck. This one isn't at all. I am going to try this on with the pair of white um, jeans because I feel like this is a very, very, very dark brown and I don't normally wear dark brown so if I were going to wear this I think that I would wear it with um, something like white on the bottom just to kind of give it like a little contrast for me. Obviously I'm wearing it with a really high skirt so I could definitely do like a little tuck so it's like higher up um, but I do really really like this sweater. I'm also again wearing it with the minis and I think that this kind of like pulls the whole outfit together. But I'm going to try this on with the pants, let you guys know what I think. I love, again, how soft it is. It doesn't feel itchy, not like one bit, so I would be comfortable wearing this all day. Um, I got this in an XL, but you probably don't really need to size up that much. I sized up two sizes. You could probably just size up one size because, let me show you guys how long this goes. It's long and like stretchy too, so like there's so much extra room, so I probably wouldn't need 
this much give but i do really like how like big and cozy it is this is the um little sweater with the jeans and i love these jeans so much i will say that they're a little short i am 5'7 and just for reference like these are kind of hitting a little high um you can see that they're just kind of like i don't know look at that like they're just like a little short for me um these are a size eight and i wear between a six and an eight these feel like a true jean like they're really soft and like buttery so you're not gonna feel like uncomfortable but they definitely don't feel like that like stretchy fabric that jeans had for a while you know what i mean like that stretchy it was almost like too stretchy i feel like this is a good balance um again i would wear this little uh like sweater with white jeans i think that it goes really well i think it balances it out really well so that it's not like too much dark together um and i also like things being like kind of tight up top and then or tight on the bottom and baggy up top or vice versa so like today i wore a skirt but you could see like the length of my legs and then my sweater was obviously really baggy so that's kind of how i usually pair things like i don't usually do too baggy things or too really um like tight things but if i do too baggy things i make sure that they're like overly baggy anyway um really like these again these are a little short i'm five seven um i would probably get these in the long size um if you're someone who's like i don't know a higher like height the last thing that i want to try on is this little uh corduroy button up and you definitely do not need to size up this much i got an extra large and i would probably just go with my true size because i think it already has like an oversized fit like this is literally huge um but i really like the like difference in the color on it i don't know if you guys can see but it's like beige on the arm and then it's white like right here and then it's beige up here but then the buttons are beige it's just like a nice mix but then this arm right here is white and then this side right here is beige so it's just kind of cool um i think that it would be really nice with a crop top or like a bralette like this this is how i would wear it probably not with a skirt maybe with um some like jogger shorts or something like that or um trousers maybe uh jeans like the white jeans i had on but um yeah i think it's really cute definitely would not need to size up this much like this is literally huge but it's very soft it's like that corduroy material but it's not like scratchy at all so it feels really good on your skin um and i feel like it's something you'd probably wear a lot in autumn of course right when i come out of the dressing room i see this sweater that i didn't even see before i went in there and it is really cute super soft and it has like a really cool design on it I feel like there's so much that i missed and right next to the jeans that i was looking at um and that i tried on there are these beige jeans i don't even know how i miss these and they don't even look like the typical like khaki like orangey color it's like a true pinky beige i really like this color a lot body pretty warm but um i ended up getting <laughs> nothing that i tried on and i got something else that i didn't try on um it's in this bag <laughs> obviously um and i got this sweater in beige i tried it on for you guys in the brown and i just didn't really like it um i like the color itself but i just feel like i wouldn't wear it so i wanted to get um a beige color and i've tried this on so many times and i loved it so i ended up getting it it was pretty pricey it's 59.95 and i didn't get like a discount or anything so it was like a little on the higher end i think for american eagle but i feel like it's so worth it 
And then I also went on the website and I saw so much stuff that I feel like I would want that's not in store yet. So I'll link a couple of those things below that I found online that I really love because I feel like they're gonna either come to store or maybe they'll just stay online, but I feel like they'll come to store and they'll probably sell out so fast. So I'm gonna link them now while they're still available. I'm gonna end off um, today's portion today, or I'm gonna end off today's portion now and we'll hop in to the rest of the vlog tomorrow. Um, I'm just gonna go home, just like chill. I'm not doing anything tonight, but we have a busy day tomorrow. Um, tomorrow I have a, what do I have? I have a lot of events tomorrow, so I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow um, and we can all hang out then. with uh, Taylor today. She was like, you should wear those pants. And I was like, ah, I don't know if I'm like comfortable with the low rise, but I feel like I'm comfortable with this on underneath. So I'm wearing that with big hoops, which I feel like a super 90s, and then a big chunky necklace and red lipstick. Um, so yeah, so I decided to wear it. I feel really good about it. I'm gonna show you guys the full outfit so you guys can kind of get like the whole gist of it all. You can see the whole thing. The pants are super, super, super baggy, like the bottom. Um, I got these in an XXL and they like fit so nicely. And then I'm wearing these um, New Balances and these are kind of like an older style of New Balances. So I think they like work really well. I'm gonna grab some wine and head out. We went to uh, Brady's parents and hung out with them for a little bit. And we also went to a friend's housewarming. So we've had a busy day, but we also still have a busy night ahead of us. So I'll see you guys there. from Fabletics, which this one is honestly kind of like sweaty because I've been 
wearing it um but the bottom is from fabletics and then the top is from nike i have really been um loving everything that i've gotten which is really just two pieces from set active um but it's a set and i have gravitated towards towards it so much and i feel like if i am gonna want to like work out and like stay like really um I know consistently adding movement into my day i'm gonna want to wear things that make me feel good and i actually like i think i told you guys this before but i like whenever it gets to be winter i get really like down and i have to really really work hard to stay in like a good headspace so i'm really gonna try to prioritize movement more than i ever have this um winter because um now that i have tonal which I just got done with a workout and I was actually down there for like almost two hours, I think. Or no, maybe it was like an hour and a half. Um, but I did two bar workouts and then I did two stretch workouts. And the bar workout was, um, the first one was like 20 minutes. And then the second one I think was 15 minutes. And then, or maybe that one was 22, I think. I can't remember, it was around there. And then I did... Um, a neck stretch workout which was 30 minutes and it actually it stretched my neck a lot but i just think it was a little long like we're just you know stretching one part of my body and then i did a uh like full body stretch with that which that one i think was 20 minutes so it was a good um workout but it didn't even feel like a workout it just felt like I was engaging parts of my body that I normally don't and it was nice being able to pick what I wanted. So you guys know I am not, like I do not really like working out. I like the community aspect of working out but I've never really been one to be like obsessed with it. Um, but I feel like having tonal, I've been able to not like fall into a rut of like doing the same thing over and over. Like I could pick kickboxing, bar, cardio, recovery workouts. I can, you know, pretty much do like anything strength um i'm trying workouts i've never tried like pilates and then today i did bar i've never done those before uh or I not today i did pilates like a couple days ago i actually posted a poll on instagram so make sure to follow me there if you guys want to help me like figure out what to do for my workouts um i want to try just like doing a lot of different things so i got two sets from um from set active and the first one I got is one that I already own, um, but I love it so much. I decided to get it just in another color, and it is this one shoulder. Oh, wait, no, this actually is a different top. Um, I have a one shoulder top. I think that's what I, I got one shoulder and the other one, I'm pretty sure. Um, but this is just like a really nice black top, and then I got a bottom to match. Um, these, again, are just such incredible quality. I think the difference between this and like a fabletics is i don't know it's just like really stretchy but it kind of gives you that like um i don't know like i really feel like i'm in if that makes sense like this is holding me in versus just like i don't even know how to explain it it just feels really good on my skin it's like a really nice material super stretchy um, so I got the black. I wear my brown set all the time. So I also decided to get another brown, but I got a different tone of brown. And this one I got in the one shoulder top, which is my favorite. Um, I just think that this is like a cute top to wear like kind of every day. Like I could definitely wear this to um, maybe the farmer's market um, or I could wear this to the grocery store or something. And then um you know just have like a cute little bomber jacket with some sneakers after workout just giving like the whole vibe so and then these are obviously longer than like the ones i'm wearing these are like super short i don't normally wear these out of the house um these are definitely longer they're like probably to my fingertips but i really like these um i got all i got everything in a size medium and um i'm really glad that i have them they are pricey but they were having a 30% off sale, so I grabbed them while they were on sale. And I feel like if you're struggling with working out or just moving your body, I think the first step, at least for me, is to always find um, a cute set. So it gets me excited to move because anytime I pay for something, I feel like it really, I don't know, just pushes me to move. Also, 
this book way off topic, but um, Honey and Spice. I am more than halfway through, literally falling in love with it. I'm really trying to finish this book before um, the Colleen Hoover book comes in on the 18th. Comment below if you guys want me to do a reading vlog of the new book. I actually checked and it shipped today. So I think I'm getting it on the 18th, like the day that it comes out, I think I will get it in the mail that same day. So let me know if you guys want me to do a reading vlog and just like read through the whole thing because it's, I feel like it's gonna be good. She released that she isn't sure if we will actually like how um, the ending is, which makes me think that she does not have um, the main like character get back with Ryle. Um, spoiler sorry <laughs> if you haven't read it ends with us i mean where have you been it's actually a very good book um for like the writing and stuff but i don't think the storyline for me is one of my favorites i personally liked other books of hers better um but if this second book has her not be with ryle and be with oh, i forget what the other guy's name is if um she ends up being with him i think that the book will redeem itself like the first book but if you want me to do a reading vlog, let me know. I'm thinking about doing one I've never done one before, but I also feel like I have such a hard time finding black booktubers to do like any book videos. Like I just have a hard time finding them. So let me know if you want me to do that and we can maybe read it together. And maybe you guys can pick it up the same day on the 18th and then we can all just like have a reading thing together. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, I'm just gonna end my little weekend here. Um, my weekend in my life here. I'm going to do some uh, more reading for the rest of the night. I'm gonna shower. Um, obviously I worked out for 50 million years today and I like read outside today and I went to Starbucks today and I've had like a busy day. Um, but I wanna make sure that I also am just getting time to myself too. And I think that since like the sun's setting, this is a good time for me to do that. And then Brady and I are gonna go to dinner later. Um, not really sure where we're gonna go, but we're gonna go and just enjoy time together. So I gonna want to kind of reset for Monday tomorrow. Let me know if you guys want me to do the reading vlog and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.